May I ask uh, Mr. Mbani to come on the stage? John, please join us. I am also going to ask uh, Abhinav Bitra, sign up. Please come on the stage, Mr. Khan. Congratulations. It's exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and dear friends, Namaskar. I'm delighted to be here with all of you today. Thank you, Mr. John Chambers, Dr. Mukesh Aghi, and the board of the U.S.-India Strategic Partnership Forum for this honor. I deeply appreciate the USI SPF and its leadership for being a strong bridge in deepening the natural bonds between India and the US. In just six years, your forum has strengthened people to people and business to business ties between India and the US. Today, I accept this, this award with humility and gratitude on behalf of my entire team. I represent the beating heart of Reliance, our beacon of hope and empowerment, the Reliance Foundation. At Reliance, doing good and giving back has always been a way of life. Long before CSR became a norm, Reliance has been fulfilling our CMR, our corporate moral responsibility. It has now transformed into our philosophy of we care. We care for the planet, we care for humanity, and we care for our nation. Today, I would like to take this opportunity to reflect on my journey with you. In the 1990s, Mukesh was setting up the world's largest refinery in Jamnagar. And he asked me to help him build the township and school there. At that time, we worked out of tin sheds in the scorching heat and dust with temperatures as high as 42 degrees Celsius in an arid desert land with no greenery to provide relief. Back then, I was the only woman working alongside 75,000 men who would call me sir. <laughs> Our township is now a bustling green community, bursting with flowers and fruits, flourishing with flora and fauna, housing lakhs of trees and Asia's largest mango orchard, and home to thousands of families living joyously together. My work in Jamnagar taught me how to bring about transformation at the grassroots. I began by working first with my family, then for the Reliance family and thousands of our children. That widened my horizon and enabled me to understand what it meant to positively impact millions of lives. This is how we formally established the Reliance Foundation in 2010. Through various activities, Reliance Foundation 
has so far touched the lives of 71 million Indians. From culture to climate, from education and sports to women's empowerment, from healthcare to livelihoods, and from rural transformation to disaster management. We work in all states and across 55,000 villages across India. Friends, it gives me immense satisfaction to share the work of Reliance Foundation in four areas that are critical for enriching the enormous and enviable human resource of India. Education for all, sport for all, health for all, and art and culture for all. I started my career as a teacher. Education has been the greatest passion of my life. I call our schools temples of joy. Today, we run 14 schools, including the Dhirubhai Ambani International School. Now, in its 20th year, it has been ranked the number one international school in India for 11 consecutive years. It's a happy school where learning is a pleasure and teaching a joy. In a few days from now, we are inaugurating our new school, the Nita Mukesh Ambani Junior School. Led by my daughter Isha, this new school is envisioned as a model school of the future with an Indian soul. I believe children learn as much in the playgrounds as they do in classrooms. Through our Education and Sports for All program, we have so far reached out to 22 million youngsters across multiple sports all over India. In all of human history, there has never been a more magical force to promote peace, friendship, health, fitness, motivation, and joy than sport. It is the ultimate unifier and energizer. My own journey with sport started with cricket at the age of 44, when most sports persons retire. I took charge of Mumbai Indians in 2009. And today, MI is one of the most loved and successful teams in the IPL. With an expanding global footprint, we now have five teams in four countries, MI men's and MI women's teams in India, MI Cape Town, MI Abu Dhabi, and MI New York. But what is really close to my heart is that MI is known as the nursery of cricket. We have discovered and nurtured young talent like Hardik Pandya, Krunal Pandya, Jaspreet Bhumra, and several others. We are proud that our latest find, the young and talented 20-year-old Tilak Verma, has found a place in the Indian squad. In 2014, I started our football league, the Indian Super League, which is now celebrating its 10th year, with 12 clubs and a mission to grow the beautiful game of football in our country. This was a part of a broader vision to make India a multi-sporting nation. I'm proud to share that this month, we hosted the 141st International Olympic Committee session in Mumbai. With this historic session, we brought the Olympic movement back to our country after a gap of 40 years. And that's not all. As John mentioned, at this session, the IOC made cricket an Olympic sport. After 128 years, cricket will make an entry at the Olympics in the US at the LA Games in 2020, 2028. And maybe 
as we take cricket to the US, we might bring baseball to India. <laughs> the exchange of sports is an exchange of dreams and friendships. It's a story of fortitude and resilience. Just two days ago, 16-year-old Sheetal Devi from Jammu and Kashmir made India proud by becoming the world's first female armless archer to win two golds and one silver medal at the Asian Para Games. <laughs> Sheetal's story is a powerful reminder that with courage, perseverance, and self-belief, the human spirit can defy all odds. Under the leadership of our Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Bhai Modi, India will bid for the 2030 Youth Olympic Games and 2036 Summer Olympic Games. As an IOC member and a proud Indian, I remain committed to making this dream a reality. <laughs> Friends, our commitment to health for all is best exemplified by Sir H. N. Reliance Foundation Hospital in Mumbai. It is almost 100 years old institution which we modernized. Our hospital has had the honor of caring for the father of our nation, nation Mahatma Gandhi. The, sir, the new Sir H. N. Reliance Foundation Hospital was inaugurated by Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji in the year 2014. In less than a decade, it has become the number one hospital in Mumbai and one of the best in India. But beyond all these accolades, for us, what really matters is that every life is precious. Our vision is to make world-class affordable healthcare accessible for all. Friends, if I'm a teacher at heart, my soul is that of a dancer. At the age of six, I began learning Bharatanatyam. When we were young, there weren't enough platforms or facilities for young artists, especially amateur artists. For my own Arangetram, I remember my father couldn't find a theater that we could afford. And finally, we had to do it in a temple in Matunga in Mumbai. Today, I can proudly say that we have created the finest new temple of arts for all the Nita Mukesh Ambani Cultural Center. It has taken me over 50 years of being a dancer and 10 years of devotion and dedication to bring the NMACC to life. It's the first of its kind multidisciplinary center in India that has three performing art theaters, an art house, and spaces to host traveling exhibitions from international museums. Our vision is to showcase the best of India to the world and bring the best of the world to India. Over the last seven months, we have welcomed over 10,000 visitors every day from across India and the world. Friends, New India is making tremendous strides in multiple fields of development. The onus is on us to make it inclusive. Therefore, I would like to end by sharing with you three causes that are very close to my heart. First, the role of women in our society. The future of a nation is shaped by the empowerment of its women. For I firmly believe that what women cannot do cannot be done. <laughs> Representation must begin at home. For Mukesh and I, whatever our sons Akash and Anand can do, our daughter Isha can do too. 
Similarly, at Reliance Foundation, we have launched many initiatives to enable and empower women across the country. We have also partnered with in international organizations like USAID, Vital Voices, and most recently, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to support livelihoods and entrepreneurships amongst women. When we support and celebrate women, we are also sending out a strong message to the little girls watching, a message that they are unstoppable and that nothing is impossible for them. Second, the role of art and culture in our society. For me personally, the most heartwarming experience at NMACC has been Swadesh, our humble initiative to preserve and promote India's age-old arts and crafts. Swadesh highlights the spirit of Make in India and offers respect and sustenance to our skilled craftsmen and women. India is a home to over 4,000 traditional arts and handicrafts and over 70 lakh artisans. They are truly the pride of our nation. These artisans have learned at the feet of their fathers and grandfathers. Their skills have been passed down from one generation to the next. Nowhere in the world will you find such depth and diversity and heritage. For instance, Pichwai, one of the world's oldest living art forms, practiced in the temple town of Nathwara in Rajasthan. When I visited Nathwara in 2015, I was heartbroken to see that our Pichwai artists had no form of sustenance. They had given up their artistic legacy and taken up jobs like sewage cleaning and brick laying. That's when the seeds of Swadesh were sown. So now, it's our greatest honor to expand Swadesh, not just in India, but internationally too, giving a global platform to India's traditional artists and artisans. Swadesh isn't just an initiative, it's a movement that aims to galvanize our cultural legacy and transform it into a global renaissance for Indian arts and crafts. And third, the development of our children and shaping the future generations to build an India that can be a role model for the world. There are over 250 million children in India's schooling system, many of them from underprivileged families. At Reliance Foundation, our vision is to connect all these children through the power of 5G, to the best of learning resources and opportunities. Imagine the transformation it will unleash when these 250 million children join the workforce as skilled and empowered young girls and boys. Their dreams will shape India's destiny. They will not just inherit our world, but reinvent it with the passion, their energy, and their vision. Mukesh and I are committed to dedicating ourselves to creating a bright future for the coming generations. Let us all together nurture and invest in our children. They will create the world of our dreams. They will build bridges where there are barriers. They will turn challenges into opportunities. They will embody hope in a world that needs it now more than ever before. So friends, let's provide our children the one thing that we owe them, a safe, healthy, hopeful, and happy childhood. and they will do the rest. They will shape a better, brighter, kinder, greener, and happier world for all of us. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you.